Okay, hello and welcome back YouTubers. As you know, I've been using video Inktober 2019 as a chance to develop my video production skills so that I can produce content for both my YouTube channel and my Skillshare classes. I'm not gonna lie, it has been incredibly challenging. If you watched my video on day 18, then you will know that my computer crashed and it was just crazy. So the funniest thing is when I finally get day 18 wrapped up and exported to YouTube, and I do realize that all of this looks just really terrible considering how much time I put into it all. Um, I'm not gonna cut out that, I'm sorry. So when I get day 18 uploaded and I'm reflecting on the hellish nightmare, my laptop took me, my uh, Galaxy Book took me into, all of a sudden my um, sound starts working again. So, wow, no explanation for that. I just thought I had some time. I thought I'd go on the Microsoft website and actually talk to, chat with the tech and during the course, I thought, well, I better go through all these steps that they suggest to make your sound work again. And number eight fixed it. So that was actually pretty shocking. And then, you know, a whole other thing developed where I lost my one notes and it was just, it was just, I've been having some computer issues, but I didn't let it stop me and I'm moving forward. So I inked this, drew and inked this on Inktober Day 18 and that video has been posted and today what I'm using is my iPad. So I just decided that after the experience I had with my Windows system, I decided that I'm going to explore other computer operating systems. I actually have Android tablets and I have this iPad and so I have the technology and what do I really need a computer for anyway, although I do love my Galaxy Book. So here I am. So the first thing is I videotaped this using my Note 4 and then transferred it to my iPad and that in itself was pretty challenging. So I wasted a lot of time trying to make an app called Share It Work and that never did work. But what I ended up using was an app called Theme. And here is why, I, you know, I was considering going to an iPad Pro because I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do iPad. I'm going to do Apple. But here's what would keep me from that. Because I would talk to people and I'd say, what do you like about Apple? Because, like, for me, it's a toy. And they would say, oh, it's just easier. Well, you know what, it's not easier. So once I transferred my videos from my uh, camera on my Android cell phone, Note 4, I couldn't find them in the Apple ecosystem because apparently Apple's got a file system that doesn't let you access only certain files. So I could find them in the theme, but I couldn't find them on media and I couldn't import them into iMovie and that was very challenging. That took quite a bit of time. And I thought, why would I want to be on an operating system where they're going to lock down my files, where I can't find my files? I know that the photos are on my device because I turned it off on iCloud because all my photos and movies filled up my iCloud Drive storage and they told me that I needed to have more, pay for more storage. Well, I don't need to be storing my phones on OneDrive, Google Photos, iCloud. No, they're all going to be stored on Google Photos and that's just that. And so I don't need them storing on iCloud. So I turned off that sync. I don't want any photos on iCloud. I don't need that. I don't want my videos on iCloud. I've already got, I've got a hard charge to store my videos and it's a terabyte and I don't need to be paying extra monthly fees for storage. So I know that the videos and the photos are on the iPad, but good luck trying to find the media folder, right? Because I'm trying to copy from the theme folder over to the media folder folder so that I can import this into iMovie, which doesn't recognize something not in the media folder. So yeah, you know, they need to get it together as far as I'm concerned. If you're a power PC user, this ecosystem where you can't find your freaking files is never going to function right. So 
I'm rethinking the Apple, Apple iPad Pro. There you go. Also, I would need the Apple Pencil, which I thought, you know, an Apple Pencil is only 120 bucks compared to a new computer, right? So I might just get that anyway, but hey, look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? That's an actually a uh, color I picked up on Jackson's Art when I was doing my schminky haul. Yeah, at the end it said, you might be interested in this, and I think it's Cobalt Light violet hue and it was three dollars so I said yeah yeah I might be interested in that and it is so pretty right so yeah those have been my challenges um there's no I'm so sorry so on the computer at the end of this series on Inktober I'll do a wrap-up of all the things I've learned but one thing that I've noticed is that the different programs have different benefits. And when I talk about benefits, what I mean is transitions and titles and music options. You know, they're all different. And so some of them are better than others. And so today I'm using iMovie. I'm not so crazy with the lack of variety in their titles, but it's what it is. And I do like the background music and so I think that turned out okay. So I guess I'll talk about my artwork a little bit. Okay, so normally I'm not this sloppy. What I did today too that was different in this video was that I zoomed in before I started taping. So the benefit of that is that my video is not pixelated, but the downfall of that is I'm not able to move my medium that I'm painting on around and so that makes it a little more uncomfortable and sloppy and I do want to apologize I will say this since the focus of this series for me is working on my video production skills I haven't been so crazed about my painting skills I've just kind of been sloppy about developing a composition to paint and then really sloppy in my painting and I'm really sloppy here in my painting and that is just the truth of that but in the end it's still cute. So what I also would like to talk about my art is you think I'd have a plan going into this and I didn't. I didn't have a plan other than I knew I wanted the sun to be yellows and oranges and I knew I knew I wanted the moon eyes to be blues. But now thinking back, I wish I would have done it in blues and purples. That would have been better. But I really had no color scheme or thought going into it other than those two things. And I just went for it and I just like to be as a surprises everybody else uh, so but one thing I did notice as I was watching the video for this is that I do have a lot of contrasting colors such as the blues and the burnt sienna and then the yellow and that uh, cobalt violet light hue those are pretty contrasty and glaring and shocking it's so brilliant and bright this painting is but sloppy, very sloppy, sloppy drawing, sloppy painting. Everything's pretty sloppy. And yet at the end, it still looks pretty funtacular, I think. It's cutie pie. So I really enjoyed this ser series. I'm learning a lot. I'm looking forward to the end of this month. I think 10 more days. We'll see if I can do 10 more videos. I think, I don't remember. I'll put it in the description how many videos I've actually created in Inktober. We're coming up on the end of this video, and I just want to say, you know what? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It does get discouraging. It's no big deal. I've got, I think, six or seven subscribers. But as I get back into selling my art online, I realize that I missed it on the social media. And I really need to up my social media skills so that I can get my art out there. And so, if you like and subscribe, I just want to say... I would so appreciate it and leave a positive comment here's why because it's discouraging and you know it really means a lot on the internet world to have this social media following and have folks liking and uh, being complimentary to your art and I'm still finding it challenging just figuring out even where to sell my art I had some pieces in a local gallery and it ended up closing so that was a bummer for me I have some paintings that have sold on society, my Society6 page, and that's okay. But Etsy, I'm getting ready to just delete it. Anyways, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching my video. 
Look in the description for my social media and please consider following me, supporting my art. Thank you. Bye.